and professional development training that connects the art of acting with critical life skills and self-mastery. Presented by the Deering Acting Studio. All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Mornings with... Matt, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning here beautiful in Phoenix, morning. Arizona. Joey, did I hear this right that we right. set we set right. <laughs> Did I hear this right that we set records in Death Valley for like 130 degrees? Yes, 130 degrees. Uh, if you would like, I can report on it for you as if I am a reporter. I will just go stand in front of your green screen <laughs> and report. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's yeah, what I. That's what Joey tells me last night. There was some kind of a record, and you know, Joey was being negative because I was going like, "Hey, we're about to make the turn. Like this is like this. We can we can all get happy in our minds a little bit because it's about to get nice outside. You know, if we can just hang in there another three and a half weeks." And Joey's like, yeah, well, I don't know if you know, but there was a record set in Death Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I did. People I are that. dying it's, from 130 degree well, weather. That's because it's really hot. It's really hot. There. <laughs> Super you know? hot. And and you know what's crazy is what I you know what are you guys looking forward to the most for the cool weather? Football. Ooh. Football. Just yeah, yeah being outside, exercising, um, like probably like hiking would be big for me. I okay, can't okay. For for me it's it's uh it's maybe the idea of possibly going on a picnic, maybe underneath a picnic tree. Uh, Speaking of picnic trees, oh my goodness, we've wow, got I see Mr. Max Anderson yeah. on the show. I, I Hello, think- Max. <laughs> Thank you so much for that was a great segue. The I, owner of Picnic Tree <laughs> Productions, Max Anderson. Uh dude, so you are you have um you have been going through a pandemic, I heard. Congratulations. <laughs> That's true. Yes, thank you. I'm doing. I'm going through it uh, alone for sure. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, actually, kind of, kind of alone. I mean, like it's weird. Like you're you're alone, like in your own like little space, but everybody's going through the same experience at the same time. So you have a lot to relate to still. So yeah, it's been crazy, guys. I, I get frustrated having people on this show, um, and and you're the worst that I've seen so far as far as not putting any thought whatsoever into the way they look on camera. It's yeah. nuts. Like, I like know, it's like I you know, didn't think about the frame or anything. I mean, it's just background. Nuts. Uh, <laughs> like, there, there's not a like subtle a subtle hint of you can video <laughs> in the back. <laughs> there's not like a kiss of golden light behind you, like two two little shadows of something. Yeah, thanks. I, I'm, I'm just, you know, this is the this is the sunrise coming through the window right now. I got a little bit of diffusion, kind of making sure that the you know <laughs> that the money maker's looking good. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. You're right. It's it's incredible. So speaking of, this is something that uh, that you're getting into. Is that correct? You you've been uh, you've been teaching courses and helping people with with how to create their own their own setup at home so they can look uh, as beautiful or perhaps even more beautiful than you look right now. That's true. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the big thing right now, you know, um, all communication. Business communication, uh, families, you know, just like everything that would normally be in person is now being done on Zoom, just like case in point, what we're doing right now. And so it's so important now for people to be showing up on video, on their video calls in a way that they would want to be presented in, right? So like you wouldn't show up to a business meeting wearing your pajama pants, you know, or like, you know, in a, a, a just horrible lighting, you know, you wouldn't want to be sitting like directly underneath a light that makes you look bad. So why would you do that on your video calls? So um, I think, you know, with my video experience, it's like, for me, it's like super obvious. So when I'm on my Zoom calls, like, why don't you just do this? And why don't you just do this? And like, like you're getting silhouetted back, like they, they're not well lit. The camera's exposing for the background. I can't hear them. And um, in, in general, like, even though they're, professional it just it puts a bad literally a bad light on them and um <laughs> well done and it doesn't really yeah it kind of validates it validates you even more as a professional if you look and sound incredible on your on your video calls so that's definitely something that we've been doing um so picnic tree productions is the the production side of the business and that's been going i've had uh picnic tree since uh 2012 and we my wife and i started uh, pick a uh, you can video in March really r- as a result of COVID and the quarantine and essentially what you can video is it's a um, it's it's a place for us to teach people how to create incredible videos for themselves so whether that be like on your zoom calls um, and looking great 
all the way through to just using your phone to create content for your website, social media pages, what types of videos you should be making because video right now is so much more important than it was six, seven, eight months ago before all this stuff started uh, because this is how we connect now. Right. So, yeah. Well, good. Yeah, well, I, I think um, yeah. I think I'd like to uh, I'd like to plug the uh, the website here. So hold on one second. Let me see if I know a way to do that. It's time now for Brian Sweeney's <laughs> shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. <laughs> well, guys, we got a double website here. Two websites. Come okay. In. All right. Let's do it, Brian. We got you can video www dot com. Y O U. That's Y O U. Y O U. Yeah. Y O U U. Can video, not just the letter U. And then there's Picnic Tree, obviously, as well. You don't want to go take a nice family picnic, as Matt suggested. It's the picnictree.com. <laughs> so it's, so it's you can, Y O U C A N video.com. And uh, so so this is great, Max. I, I love that you're doing this. We, we started doing this as well almost immediately, um, helping corporations and businesses with their presentation skills be like in front of the camera you know we're limited to to what we know which we we do know some things but we're limited to what we know as far as the setup but the actual presentation part i totally agree um now that the world is in this way all of a sudden we all became actors even though it was already my thought that we already were actors but <laughs> But now it's yeah, like, actually, yeah. it doesn't matter if you're afraid to be in front of the camera. You're in front of you're the camera, front of camera yeah. every single day now. And so you have to have the skill set to be in front of a camera, to be, to be relaxed, to be yourself. Um, yes. You know, and what's funny, yeah. dude, is I don't think I've ever thought about sh showing up to a meeting. And I guess I have been aware of it now that I think about it. it but I, I guess I didn't realize I was aware of, of like not sitting underneath a light. But but so many people do that in 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 the in person meetings. Mm -hmm. Like if you're aware of lighting now, if, if this is something that you've now become aware of because of because of the pandemic and Zoom and everything, you'll realize like if you sit in a business meeting and you're the one underneath a light, you look like the evil person in the room. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, I mean it's really um, it's a it's a mix. It's fifty fifty, right? So it's fifty percent like technical knowledge and skills, which um, are e you know they're easy to learn in in the long scheme. But it, then then it's the other side, which is what you're talking about, which is the mental side of things and actually getting in front of the camera and kind of performing. Um, you know whether you're acting, you think you're acting or not. You're totally right. Like you have to kind of like get through that kind of uh, block in your in your head where you say I can't do this. Right? You've got this like mental block in your mind saying some somewhere in the past. You know when you were a kid or a teenager or before, like somebody told you that you did not look or sound good or you know, and then you just kept that going. And you kept that that block in your mind up until this point in time. And then anytime someone says, oh, can I take your picture? You can, or, you know, let's hop on a video call. You have this idea in your mind that I don't look good on camera or I don't sound good. I'm not charismatic. I can't do these things that other people can do. And that is a complete and total lie that you tell yourself. You think it's true, but it's really uh, something that you can get over with practice just like you could if you were going to be going out and learning how to ski yeah 100 percent. so that's and that's the side we work on which is the mental side and and then so so with you can video is this something where people could take a course uh like online or is this something where you would show up to their house and and help them with their own setup or both i mean are there different options what 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 can people do through you Sure. So um, on youcanvideo.com right now, we are um, we're, there's a wait list right now for the course. And the course essentially is a it's there, the series of modules that teach you how to actually set up your video call space uh, from beginning to end, the type of gear that you need, um, how to actually operate it, the best practices for different situations. Um, and I mean, as you can see right now, my lighting has changed. I was about uh, to say something. I was going to ask if you had, if you have like a setup for the changing sun. <laughs> right. So, um, you know, I've got like a, a ton of lights, you know, for all, and it's a tiered kind of like gear system. So it's not just like, okay, well you have to have $5,000 to set up your camera, um, and your audio equipment. It's, uh, whatever you could really work with what you have 
but you're really going to get the best results if you put a little bit of extra investment into it and it doesn't need to be a lot so this course essentially teaches you and provides you with the confidence that you need in order to get on uh, and set up your camera set up your gear and we also not only go into the gear side of things but also the software side of things so when you when you're on your zoom calls since zoom has kind of become the thing yeah um, there's also a bonus content that we're creating where we're teaching you the best practices within zoom of how to look and sound your best so how to connect your audio to your cameras and, and your microphone and everything and just make everything seamless and synergistic i guess um in in order for you to actually just hop on and the goal is all you have to do is set this up one time and then all you then you sit down and you just press go and you're ready to go you turn on your light you turn on your camera and you yeah. don't have to redo this over and over again you set up your home studio or office studio um so that way you can look and sound your best on your calls and a lot of the people that are f finding a lot of interest in this aren't just like business like you kind of like um aren't just like the types of calls that we're doing or just like business calls in general but like teachers teachers are really uh you know having to teach online right now yeah. and so if you can't look if you can't show off and you can't communicate clearly through audio your lessons then um the kids aren't going to be able to learn as easily as they would have if if you know if it was clear so um it's, you know it's, i i, I want to jump in there too and just and just add even that you're right i mean the the demographic right now is everybody i mean mm -hmm. that's that's and then, so you're in a great space to be in i i know that we've had um I, I had this story of of before school came back, we transi we transitioned over here very quickly. Like we were like, boom, we're online classes, and I had this one teenager who's a, a great kid, and um, you know, a good student, loved the class, like just like loved the class. But this is before um, he had to take online schooling, um, so so like we were early to the game. And mom called in and said, hey, he, he's going to take a couple months off. We'll figure out. We'll wait till the virtual is done. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Like, they, they're, they're great. And she's like, oh, I assume I assume they're great. He just doesn't feel confident being on camera. He he feels like he, he like, looks overweight or, like, feels th this way or that way. And, you know, I, I wanted I, – I even, I even volunteered. I'm like, let me come over there. I'll teach him some camera angles. I'll teach him some lighting and, you know, whatever. And we, we, never, we never got to do that. But um, – but that's a thing, you know, even even as a kid. So all the parents that are out there, your child who's going on camera, this is them showing their face to their friends and, and their sense of, of confidence. And, you know, we know how kids can be with teasing one another and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Like being able to present yourself in such a way that you feel confident, um, you know, and, and you know that you look and sound your best. I mean, it's really it's really a big deal. Yeah, I'm. I really. Uh, I'm glad that um, I'm out of school now because this would be so difficult. I think for for me and so many other kids. And so, any time that you can make things a little bit easier, making uh, kids and just you know people in general feeling more confident, they're going to perform better. They're going to learn better. They're going to um, you know. And and in the end, like you know make more money too if you're in a business perspective you know if you're feeling confident you're gonna you know you're gonna end up making um better decisions during your calls and things like that as well instead of being self you know uh thinking too much about the way you look and sound so yeah it's, good. it's all yeah. around it's a very mental game for sure and if i can go ahead and just plug max here um to our audience he helped us originally with our setup in the theater when we were working through our master classes and trying mm -hmm. to figure out how to get our technology out to the world and so he helped us pick out our cameras and our lights and some different things and so um so we're very grateful to you by the way and now we've taken what you taught us and we've we've created some all new magical stuff that we've figured out um but but it's like max really knows his stuff and yeah. and i mean if you if you are thinking about you know potentially investing and and and, and really i would i would say this is an investment in you yeah because mm -hmm. if, you, if you go buy a course that helps you understand how to look and feel your best. I think that's a really, really good thing. So, uh, so don't forget to go to you can video. Speaking of school, uh, Bry guy. Yeah, I was just about to. You're yeah. you're, you're you're the reason that we get to hang out and talk with Max. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk about talk about how you met Max. So Matt and I met in a. Uh, Max and I met in uh, a. Sorry, Max. Uh, 
in an editing class at Scottsdale Community College. Uh, I'd love to say go autochokes, but I feel like I can't without feeling a little silly. Uh, <laughs> go so, autochokes. No. That uh, doesn't work. Uh, yeah, it didn't work. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, we were in an editing class. And so what's so cool for me is I've gotten to really watch Max grow as, as a human being and, and as an editor and, and in this industry, like we both started off in this class and we're like sitting next to each other, like kind of like, like just learning these little things about Avid and like joking about certain stuff. And now to see like the college version of him, like grow up honestly, and like start your own business, like like Matt, Matt said, really get in on the industry and, and come in and help us when we were starting with little videos, like we were doing those AME videos and filming some like little commercials to masterclass and now to just starting your own thing. Like it's just been incredible. Dude. Matt, like, Max, t tell us about your, uh, your impressions of Brian when you first met him oh, man, back in dude. college. <laughs> I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could say this on camera. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Brian was <laughs> it's just an awesome. An awesome dude. You know, it just, um, it, it was, Brian's the kind of guy that you could be like friends with like really quickly. And so I think that's why we connected uh, so well. And, um, and then obviously Brian, you connected. Uh, like was he, was studio. he really good at, at uh, cheating off the test or how did that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in, in editing, there's not really like a ton of tests. It's kind of like the, um, you know, if it's, it either looks good or it doesn't. But to be honest, I can't remember what it looked like or not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I, no. I and and, and I know Brian, he brought you over to meet us here. Right. Aww. And so I, I will just I'd like to pat myself on the back here because I think that I'm a good um, uh, I, I can I can see talent when I can see it, you know, and, and Max is a student like barely going to SCC and like I see this kid I'm going like all right I'm gonna put you in charge of our number one client we have right now <laughs> have you do the video for it um which turned out to be a really good move because the video turned out great and you you became who you were and then you were our in to Nextiva you introduced me to Thomas yes. which became a huge uh, a huge account for us throughout throughout the last say five years or so totally and I think that um what the biggest thing that I've learned since college um, was the importance of your network, the importance of um, showing up when you say you're going to show up, perform the way that you say you're going to perform, and 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 really like just being a good person. I think really is just like in general, just like the the biggest rule of thumb um, because your network. You know, like what's what's the saying? Like your net worth is your network, right? Um, like it's true. Like everything that you do reflects on you and if you um you know are responsible and you know like are true to your word you know you, you might not be the best in the moment but you're like you're gonna get better it's but the way that you operate within interpersonal communication and you know business and things like that that's gonna follow through with you and if you burn a bridge you never know where that bridge could eventually lead yeah so I, i'd like I, to I think jump, that's the biggest i want to jump on that for you max really quick um I, there was something, I don't remember what the project was that he was doing with, with you or with us. Maybe it was master class or something. He had just started Picnic Tree and you got a thank you note like right away from him for whatever it was. And it had like the little like sticker of your, of your new company. <laughs> and this was like two days or something like right after it happened. Like you I, don't, you don't even realize you're complimenting me accidentally. Oh, cool. Complimenting you also. That's awesome. <laughs> but go, go, go I, ahead, I finish. I don't, like I said, I don't remember what it was, but it, I remember just being so impressed by you, Max, for, for doing that, for reaching out, because that's like the client relations side. That's like the, the connection point, the, the I'm sending it, you're sending out a thank you, but really like I'm keeping this connection going and I'm letting you know that you're important to me. And so I just yes. remember even when Matt opened it, he was so psyched about it. And he was like, oh, this is so cool. And you know what I said? I go, I go, I literally said this. I go, Max gets it. He's one of the people that get it. Yeah. I was, I was I literally, what I was actually was happy for you because I, I get like euphoric when I hang around successful people. Mm -hmm. Some people get jealous and I'm just like, oh yeah, cool. Like you get that. And I hang around someone like, like Thomas Gorney, who's a, you know, whatever millionaire, billionaire type person. And I'm like, he deserves it. Like the dude's a good hard worker. He's a good man. And I, and I just want to applaud him and learn anything I can while I'm around these kind of people. Like for me, it's not jealousy. It's just like, Hey, what can I learn? What can I learn? What can I learn? You know? Um, yeah, it's so true. Yeah, I, you know, I think um, 
it's it, the reason that I that I do that is because somebody did it for me and it made me feel that exact same way. I was like, like it's such an easy thing, like a text message. You know, it, it's it's kind of like eh, like the, these days, you know, like. But if you actually have, um, you know, the time to sit down and write something out and send it off. It takes you what, maybe five minutes, you know, to do something like that. But in in reality, that five minutes is exponentially coming back to you because because it, it means a lot more because you actually put a little extra thought into it. So so, so and yeah, the reason I'm I was saying that was was is funny because because when um when Max referred us over to Nextiva, I had forgotten about this, and so he sent that thank you note, and I and I like reached out to him, and I was like, "Wow, dude, like this was really great, you know, um, thank you, and, and keep doing that. That's really good practice." And he he said something along the lines of, "He's like, yeah, well, you know, I kind of learned that from you," and I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "When when I when I referred you to Nextiva, you sent me a thank you note with a gift card in it, and and he's like, and it meant a lot to me, and I and I, and I just I, he's like that was something I remembered." And I had totally forgotten I did that. But I, <laughs> oh. I sent a gift to you. I sent a gift to Thomas. I sent a gift to Kim. Um, everybody who was impactful. And I and I also gave back, I think it was like 20% of what I made back to the Nextiva um, fund, like their charity. Yeah, Next, ne- Nextiva Cares, yeah. Yes, Nextiva Cares, which is which is a great organization. And I I mean that but that's just the way like I believe in operating. Mm-hmm. You know, like when you when you get success and you see success, you you should always take care of the people that are that are helping you along the way you know because that type of synergistic energy it's going to feed back to you a hundredfold if you're not willing to give it away then that means you're fearful that means Absolutely. you're you know you're holding on to what you have but if you're gonna if you take a you know a hundred bucks and i'm saying i'll give 20 right back to to your charity mm-hmm. doesn't even like i i don't i don't need it i don't need my name on it i just want you guys to k- continue to do well thank you um it's huge it's a big deal it's a, the biggest deal. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. And, and that card like, like made me, um, like, you know, the, like the gift card is nice, you know, but more than anything, it was like, yeah, like, you know, being able to, I wasn't like, nobody's asking for like any appreciation, but the fact that like you, you give it, it, it goes a really, really long way. So, um, yeah, you know, you learn from the people who are, you know, kind of doing it already. And, um, you know, so that's the thing, like when, I, the way that I look at it, the, the day that you stop learning, the day you tell yourself, like, I'm, I know it all, you know, I know everything about everything. Like I've been doing video production for 15 years since I was like in early high school. And it, as soon as I tell myself that I know everything about how to make video is the day that I've lost, you know? Mm. So it's, uh, and it's the same thing with business, you know, like learning from the people who inspire you to, uh, move forward and, and get better. And, and, you know, you want to kind of emulate the people that are doing it the right way. So, um, yeah, you guys, and I, I think you guys, you know, Matt and everybody over there, just, um, I think you guys are killing it right now. I've been seeing a tons of awesome innovation since, since COVID, you know, I mean, just like, you're not stopping, which is incredible. You know, it's funny, uh, Joey and I like to tell this story. We were, <laughs> so like castings g- dried up. The entire entertainment world completely dried up. All mm. theaters dried up, you know, for a couple months. And so uh, so Joey and I got ahead of the curve and we were like, okay, we want to invent virtual casting. And I don't mean you send in your tape. I'm talking about we do a virtual casting where you get to meet the casting director virtually through Zoom and um and and then yet still be able to use the software that we use for casting which which ends up ge- delivering like a really good end user experience and so like th- this is funny but we 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 set it up and it failed set up and failed i kept pulling out the whiteboard and i and i kept showing like all right so here's this technology and we need, <laughs> we need to get to meet this technology and i would draw all these arrows and i'm like okay so we had like two computers and all the uh, stuff and it's funny cuz eventually like Joey's like it's not gonna work and I'm like what but, but what if like what if this and every time I would like try to figure it out Joey would be like get out of my way <laughs> <laughs> and the last step and I we, I still don't remember exactly how this worked but the last step was somehow using the projector in the theater <laughs> like we we connected a cable through that and came out of it and like all of a sudden it worked and we're like what <laughs> we invented new technology this is crazy <laughs> and of course we haven't used we haven't used it for the purpose we thought of you we were going to use it for but we've been using it for other things which is cool 
It reminded me when you were telling me that that uh, there was a scene in uh, like Apollo 13 when they're trying to figure out how to like filter something like get the oxygen working yeah. again and they have like <laughs> all these things on front of their table and they're like, all right, how do we do this? And they're like, they, they figure it out, you know? So yeah, was, yeah. Or like uh, Matt Damon in uh, the Mars movie. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the Martian. The, right? the Martian, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's growing, growing potatoes with his own poop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to say poop on he our really show. Really did. He I was, it was dying really for good, it. Yeah. Anytime like Matt can get in a good poop joke, he's all in for it. Yeah, that's true. What's been your guys? Um, this is something that I was really um, kind of curious about. Like with so going along with the um, like the the quarantine and everything. I know you guys shut down the studio for a minute. Um, like, what's been your thought process? throughout this whole ordeal of like how to how do we how do we innovate how do we make what's that word pivot like the the pivot is like the big thing right now how do you guys make the move continue to stay on top of your game throughout this whole process can i say the word do it okay uh momentum yeah momentum uh where's the air horn momentum Uh, momentum Yeah, so actually, we never did shut down. Uh, we're one of the rare businesses that did not. We we cut off our in person classes, but we we transitioned seamlessly into um, into online courses. It it's been grueling. I mean, honestly, almost every day has been grueling since COVID took over. But if we look at ourselves, we've probably grown more in this three month period than we have in in a lot of other three month periods of our life. Like there, there's been just a ton of forced growth upon us. Um, we didn't really have the luxury, and and, and I, yeah. I I find it a good thing, you know. But we didn't have the luxury of just sitting back, because if we did, we were going to be one of the many businesses that went out of business. And I and I said that to everybody. I said, here's the deal: we're not going down. Like we're not going down. If we go down, if that if that happened, if that's in God's plan, we're going down swinging. I tell you that. And so from day one. We saw we we just took the attitude of instead of like what are our limitations, we would ask ourselves what can we do, and and with that attitude, we started doing things like and and I remember the first the very first meeting we had, as I said, hey, we can't control this. This is a very weird thing, and it's a scary thing. But what all I know what we can do, we can double down on our giving. So that was the very first step. That's why this show exists is because we were just trying to like take care of people, get on, give away some free information and just but just be like kind. I mean, that was the idea. Uh, we created a video for healthcare workers that, that's gone out and, and done really good things. And, and now, you know, we still get like a ton of views and comments on that video. Mm-hmm. We did one for, for Nextiva actually, what, not being asked to do it. We just, we just sent them like a thank you video. Thank you for the people who are like, our thought was, the people who are in the grocery stores, who are delivering, you know, food and goods, the people who are, are healthcare workers on the front line, and then the reason why Nextiva fit was our communication, you know, professionals who are helping to keep Zoom going and helping to keep, you know, our phone lines going and all that stuff, our VoIP lines and and on all the great things Nextiva is doing. We just want to say, hey, thank you for showing up to work mm-hmm. when the rest of us are being told to stay home. You're helping us keep the lights on. Thank you. And so we put out a bunch of those videos and and just by by forcing ourselves to be kind and to be loving and to like just give back when that was when that felt like the only option available to us, um, that kept us growing, kept us innovative, kept us you know on our toes. So that when and and I knew this was going to happen, but it, the, the scariest part is when there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And so, so everyone's in the dark. And, and so I think a lot of people curled up in a ball and, and, and right, rightfully so. Like, I understand why. Um, but I was like, Hey, we're going to surge forward and we're going to, we're going to bump our heads against the wall a few times here in the dark, but we are going to keep pushing forward. That way, when the lights turn on, you know, we're going to be ahead. And I mean, there, there was a time this was one day of, of, of Gary V's life. But one day we put out more content than he did. <laughs> and it's because he was locked he was locked up in his apartment. Like there was nothing he could do. Like he was he was in New York, I think, stuck. So he put out like one or two videos. And that day we, we had put out like twelve. And I was like, guys, we just we just ten X the ten X guy. <laughs> you know? And so but that's the idea was like I knew that that we had to look at this as an opportunity to grow, as an opportunity for ourselves to get ahead. And, um, 
you know, just change the way we look at everything, knowing that the world will be forever changed. You know, I mean, that that's the way it is. Some things are going to go back to normal. I believe that. Like, I, I don't think we're going to be wearing masks forever. I think that I think that will, you know, change in some way. Hopefully, from now on, anytime anybody gets sick with any kind of the flu or whatever, you start wearing masks. Like, that's just a good idea. It's a good <laughs> practice in general, right? Yeah. Um, in public spaces, like, why not have some glass up to protect the workers? Like, all that stuff, like, maybe that shouldn't go away. That's good. Um, and, and some things are going to, you know, go back to a, a more of a what we're what we used to be used to. Having said that, there are certain things that are just easier and just yeah. better and just more efficient. So some of these business meetings that are happening via Zoom are going to keep happening, even if you have the the option to go the other way. Some businesses have been now more productive. They're, they found that their their team is more productive. We, we found that Shay, who works mm -hmm. here. She was more productive at home and happier at home, and it took her an hour to drive down here. So she can work here, but we chose to send her home, and we're like, hey, you're getting more work done. You're happier. Like, this is a no-brainer. Why would you waste an hour to drive down here and an hour to drive back when you could be doing good things for your life? You could be working out. You could be, you know, cooking for your husband and hanging out at home and, like, doing the things you really – that fill you up. Yeah. Like, do those things, you know? Like, yeah. that's great. So <laughs> – so just understanding that that this isn't a waiting game, you know, we're not sitting here waiting for this to end. Mm -hmm. This is like, a, hey, we, we all got to move and change and adapt now. And then, you know, I think we're going to keep all the good and then and then, you know, get rid of some of the bad. Yeah. And Matt, yeah, Engelhardt, I think, I, <clears throat> sorry, go ahead, Max. I was just going to say, I think momentum is the perfect word for that, because, um, you know, that was the first thing like there's that kind of like. Uh, what's it like the the stages of grief right like where you have to kind of work your way through it like I think everybody kind of went through that um, and I think some people got through it a little bit faster than others and um, they realized that like everybody like the world's not going to go anywhere you know like business and uh, you know money still needs to be flowing and things need to be happening and we can't just be like locked up and just watching Netflix and you know Tiger King for you know the rest of our lives um, so how do we how do we come out of this with full speed, you know? And I think that was the big thing for me too, which, and I, and I, uh, I, like I joined a mastermind I've guys, I hired a business coach, like all during this time when people are shutting down now, like I realized that now is the time to really start ramping up. And you guys, like, I mean, I think are the perfect example of that. Um, and, and having that, um, build, building your business during this time is the perfect time to do it because now you're at home. You've got tons of time to start building and trying new things and testing it out. And, um, and then when everything kind of, let's say if it does wrap up, you know, I, I don't know if the, there's going to be like a specific day where the doors open, but like when things kind of start settling back down, you're going to be going full speed while everybody's just be starting to ramp up. So I think I, I applaud you guys for doing that. It's really, really awesome. Yeah, thanks. Um, and, and it's a choice, you know, it's a it's a hard thing. That that was something, you know, the word momentum, that one that didn't come to me until about halfway through when I felt like, you know, we had we had been through our paces a bit. And um, it, it just felt like there was a new level of stress. Oh, I know when it was okay. So there was the first shutdown. And then we transitioned through that. And and we came out of it sort of stronger. And then all of a sudden, like right when things were feeling good again, we had to, th there was like the shutdown order again for schools and different things. And so that affected us specifically. And, um, and you know, already like 60% of our business had gone dry. So we had to find new, like new innovative ways to do things. And so now all of a sudden, like right when we were geared up again, like wave two happened and it was like the worst in Arizona than like the world. And you, you know, you see all these things and you're going, wow, like this is a lot. And I, and I felt it affecting me and, and then knowing it's going to be affecting everybody else if it's mm -hmm. affecting me. And uh, we had to move our camp. Like we have this big movie making camp for kids that we love. And we had to move that like a month later because three of the kids that were going to be in camp had COVID. And we're like, okay, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so uh, so so it was a scary time. And, and, then, and that's when I found the word momentum. And I said, you know, let's look at this like a football game. And Joey's like, all right, I'm, I'm awake. All right, bet. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah. and the idea being, you know, it it doesn't matter how how far down the team is, you can feel it when you're watching a game when the momentum shifts. 
and you're like, uh oh, like we're up by 28 points, but I don't feel good right now because the other team's got the momentum. Momentum is huge. So if during this time right now, if we can understand that we have the power to keep momentum on our side, and it's a daily choice to do something to move forward, move yourself forward, move your company forward, move move your skill set forward for your job, um, even like at home, you know, if, if you're a stay at home mom or, or you know, a, a teacher, a student, anybody, just think about how do I move forward so I feel that positive momentum on my side building. Um, if, if you can gain that, then it, it's, it's a big deal. So then I went from that to it started working about two weeks into this being our mantra was just momentum. It didn't matter. Like I, I, I said, everybody, I told everybody, no money. I don't care. I don't care if we make money. I don't care if we lose money. We need momentum. Like momentum is everything. And so we did that. And about two weeks later, we're feeling really good. The train is moving. And then some things, some big things started hitting. And I was like, more momentum. That's the new word, more momentum. <laughs> so that needs to be uh, that needs to be added to the urban dictionary, please. Brand new word. Yeah. Patented hashtag. Hashtag Deering Studio. <laughs> you got any more okay. questions, uh, Max, before we wrap it up? Oh man, um, geez, you know, I mean, I think, um, I think really like the, I don't know if like any specific questions like are coming to, coming to mind in the moment. I think really just in general, like building a business right now, like, and, and, and like, or, you know, making a move, let's say, you know, whether it be, you know, staying in the job that you hate, um, you know, and then making that leap to do something. I think right now is like a really incredible time to do. I know there's a lot of uncertainty out there in the world, but the more you keep on saying like, now uh, is the time to do it, then you're going to be, uh, you're, you're you're going to start taking action a lot faster, whether that be even just like getting up and out of bed. Like, um, so I, I think for me, like that's one of the biggest lessons. What's, what is the biggest lesson that has come out of this, um, uh, since, since everything kind of started for you guys? Um, you guys want to go first? The biggest lesson that's come out of the COVID pandemic crisis so far, if you don't have anything, I can go. Um, no, I think personally, uh, was the realization cause I've been kind of talking with, with teenagers specifically cause I deal with them a lot, uh, about the realization of the positivity of the, of the social media. And so I was just listening to that, that limitless book that mm -hmm. you recommended. Um, and it sort of talked about, it, it talked about fire <laughs> and it said that basically like fire can be a very positive thing or a negative thing. It can cook your food or it can set your house on fire, <laughs> which I really mm -hmm. like that example. Mm -hmm. And so through this, I kind of just had this realization. I've really enjoyed taking over some of the social media and helping with that on, on the Deering side. And I realized that there's so much power to it. There's just so much power to this technology and what we can use it for. But also it can be a total curse if you're not careful. And I know before I was being really not careful with it. I was going through and like scrolling and like, TikTok. yeah, TikTok. And, and going through TikTok for hours and doing these sort of things and, and not using it to create content and create community. And, and the truth is it's meant to be and can be a community builder. It can be a way to connect yeah. with our clients. And, and I'm feeling that more than ever, like commenting with them and asking them about what they're doing with their lives and how they can be more successful. So we're putting out these success videos and then also having people comment on them and talk about what they're doing. And, and I'm seeing people help each other through commenting on something. And so just realizing that there's that kind of power in community, but you have to realize what it is, be very cautious with it, be aware of it and, and create it for what it's meant for, which is community, which is social. It's called social media for a reason. And it's, it's not selfish media, you know, like, <laughs> There, there should be called that. Dang. Funny. Okay, Brian. Yeah. Okay, Brian. Mind drop. Drop some guys. Selfish media. All right. All right, why Joey. Do I, why Joey, do I have biggest... to follow that up? <laughs> selfish Biggest media. lesson, bro. All right. Uh, let me swap out our cameras really quick because you know, you know how that goes. Yeah, we need the Joey yeah, close up. Let's Joey go. Joey close up, yo. Joey close. He's got a lot right. of buttons to push. Here we go. Yeah. 
Well, I have to swap you and I out because we're both on phones. Oh, yeah. gotcha. That's I annoying. Got you. Gotcha. That's screen, screen. Yeah. We'll but it. I'm on. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. Um, you, look, you look handsome, too. Max, did you? This guy's single. Can Dude, you believe like this? 140. <laughs> I, every, every, I'm just, every show, I'm just amazed. I'm like blown away that the, some girl has not nabbed this kid up yet. I mean, they are just, it's, it's a look, look at him. It, He's he's a real hot hot take there. Have you ever Max? You should make some phone calls. Max, you should look up look up a young George oh, Clooney like when he was like a kid, and then look it's, and then hold it Joey. next to Joey, and you're and you're gonna go like what? I I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, I could see that a hundred percent. Yeah, Joey. I I invested I invested in Joey, you know, or before the stock went up, you know, as far as his editing skills and whatnot. I, I believed in him before he believed in him. Some True. girl, some girl needs to invest be before he becomes George Clooney, or else no girl's gonna get to invest. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna invest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you kind of did. You were Matt, Matt. Matt so graciously hired you to uh, to teach me some very valuable skills that have paid out. And you're killing it, man. Computer. Every time I see a video, uh, I'm I'm seeing a little Joey coming out, <laughs> little, little, little Joey magic, and a little a little Matt uh, persistence and and uh, annoyance of like do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, so big takeaway for me. I mean, there's been a couple. Number one, I guess, is uh, just reliance upon things, right? So you're you're the whole world has been some certain way for a long time like people would go out to eat you go out to church you go out to things and you and you hold value in these things right and then all of a sudden that was just all gone and so then uh honestly it was a blessing for me and for us to be able to live right there and still come in during quarantine and when everybody was being isolated like we were able to come in and just uh, keep trying to push the ball forward, but um, like, <laughs> like it's crazy. But like, I have more money now than I've ever had because I realized, oh man, I was eating out like quite a bit, and that's one of those things where like, as things started to open back up, I was like, ah, I'm just gonna like make <laughs> I like some my food savings at home. account, <laughs> yeah. And and it was something that I didn't pay as much attention to before, but like that is one thing that I really took out of it is is reliance upon things so when you when you have that uh it's it becomes a blessing and something really nice to go out and eat or do whatever and it's not that you can't do those things but being mindful of what you are doing is uh is huge and so that's one thing i've taken out the other thing i would say is um putting a governor on your mind so um and and what you're capable of so you kind of talked about this um funny enough like with the whole like invested when the stock was low but um but really like throughout this quarantine i've just learned so much about what we are all capable of right like we we made two movies we've done a crazy amount of like hard work that i just i would have never thought i could do and even going into those weeks, I was like, yeah, I don't know how this is about to happen. <laughs> but you had to believe, like, there's that belief. And then and then you realize, like, I have so much potential that I don't even give myself credit for. So that's kind of what I've taken out. That was even better than Selfish Media, John. <laughs> it sure was. Straight to the heart. That was deep. All right, so what did I learn? I'm, I'm going to jump right on Joey's bandwagon here, and I'm going to go with the belief, the faith. That's a, that's a big part of why this show exists, and, and we've seen it uh, a bunch with people who are now finding this show, connecting into uh, the message that we're trying to d deliver. When you put your faith, you put your belief in things and stuff, uh, you, you always need the next thing. You always need the next whatever. And when you, when you can connect into something bigger than you, um, you connect in, into into God and into the the spirit that lives inside of all of us. Like when that when you connect into that, like I'm so grateful that I found that February second, two thousand eighteen, the day I woke up, it, it, it changed my whole life. And so it became like this became a thing where the, all I did was I saw this as an opportunity for us to reach more people, knowing that more people need this message now 
more than ever. And so, uh, like the idea of holding on to a belief and what is a belief? What is faith? It is, it is knowing that something is true, even though I can't see it. I, I know 100% that it's going to come true, even though it's not already in my hands and, and having the power with, of your mind to be able to do that is what does drive you out of bed is mm -hmm. what does will wake you up in the morning. And, and, you know, I've told these guys like, it's interesting, but this show that we do in the morning now, it was, it was, a, it was something that was, it was supposed to be like a, a fun thing that we were doing on the side just to help people. It was Brian's idea. He's like, Hey man, you should do a show. I was like, all right, we'll do it. And we'll, and we tried to, and it was hard and <laughs> you're know, going live is it was very scary. <laughs> honestly, like the first time we went live, I was just like, are we live? I don't know what's yeah, live. What's happening I, here? Li I do do I? Do I? My, hands? <laughs> yeah, my hands, I don't know about my hands. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, it was, it was a weird deal. And so, and now it's like, you know, it feels regular. And, and but I said, hey, this show, the show will never reach a million people in one day unless we already believe that that's the case. Yeah. If we don't treat it like that, if we don't wake up in the morning and, and attack it, like, hey, like we're making a huge impact then it'll never be the case. And, the, and what's crazy is because of this show, we have an ongoing student uh, from Nigeria who, f who found us through our YouTube show, through another student who we didn't know, we had no idea he was from Nigeria. Um, I just heard about this story of, of a kid, gave him a scholarship, not knowing who he was, and then boom, just like that, we're, our program's international, you know? And and I, and it's funny to say like because okay you have one student across the seas but that's true like that's the way that's the way things like that start you know it's Kindle, mm -hmm. um, and that comes from a heart of giving from a heart of not even worrying about me but then knowing like hey something good will come from it eventually like I'm not I'm not really worried about that I'm worried about hey oh this kid's in need no problem give him a scholarship let's bring him in as long as he's willing to do the work. Mm -hmm. You know, no problem. We'll, we'll give him a scholarship. So that kind of idea of just leaning into faith. Um, it's what helped us through the momentum period. It's what helped us in the very beginning of this thing. And it's what's helping us now um, to thrive. And we want to help other people do the same thing. If you can lean into something that's bigger than you, you lean into it, the idea of helping. Like I can tell Max, honestly, you can video. Even the, na <laughs> the name of it, mm -hmm. right? It's like, hey, I want to help you. I want to help you understand that you can do this. Um, I love that. I mean, it's, it's, it's spiritual. Like that's a really wonderful message that you're trying to help people with. And by helping people, you will be successful. I really believe that, you know, and I'm sure you've given away a ton as well. Cause I know your heart. And so, um, so this idea of faith of belief and making sure that you're putting your faith and your belief in the right things, I think it's been a, a huge wake up call for a lot of people. Yeah. Like Joey said, it, like I, I was woken up and I'm going like, wow, all the things I used to believe in, you know, football, crazy like it went away you know like yeah. like here here we like there there is no college football and i'm like what like when when the ncaa tournament was canceled i was like that really that ain't cool <laughs> really? they're stopping the nba season like yeah. like there were these things that i thought would never happen you know these massive companies the suns went eight and no and they still didn't get in the playoffs. yeah yeah what? <laughs> what? it's crazy and, garbage is that and you can go back in the bible <laughs> and you can read about these stories that's the other thing that i've i've loved to do during this time is reach into history if you look into mm. the past Yes, this is crazy. It's crazy for our lifetime, but there's been worse things. There's been incredible things that our world has gone through and that people have gone through and they've come out of it. So the, the, the smart thing to do is to dive in and go, okay, what did the people do who survived? Yeah. How did they operate? What, what was their mindset? And if you study those people and emulate those people, you'll find out like, hey, like Max did, like now's the time to invest. Now's the time to invest in me. Now's the time to honestly... Like, like I, I mentioned this on this show. I was like, hey, I'm not giving you stock advice, but I'm investing in the stocks right now. It was a good idea. Like yeah. the stocks plummeted. And I'm like, mm -hmm. cool. Like now's the time to get in. If you have any money, put it in the stock market because it, it's going to like <laughs> Disney's going to come back. I don't know if anybody's seen Disney <laughs> Plus, but like, yeah. <laughs> like it's a pretty good product. Also, I and mean, there's a billion people in the world that are going to yep. buy it at, at $5.99. And you do the math like <laughs> it's a lot of money per month they're making. You they, know, they made a pretty penny. I guarantee by hosting all the NBA teams for the whole bubble <laughs> experience. That's what like, I'm saying. Disney's a business like, and they're a good they're, business. They're, they're a solid smart, business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like in we, invest. We can't have people on our rides. So why don't we just bring all of the superstars <laughs> here and, and they'll just play basketball at our place. It's fine. <laughs>
I love the Baba. The Baba's a great thing. <laughs> it's been a wonderful for our nation. It was my idea, actually. <laughs> I take full credit. Oh, man. All right. And I know I'm not allowed to do any Trump impressions. I'm not allowed to talk anything politics because that would be a mistake. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not no, going to do no, that. <laughs> All right, Max, dude, it's been awesome having you on. Thank you so much for waking up in the morning and hanging out with Mornings with Matt. Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure, and uh, I've been enjoying the conversation, guys. Keep it up. Thank you. Love you, man. All right, here we go. Everybody can go to www.uyoucan video. You can video if you want to make yourself look better on camera. In the meantime, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. Hit that little button, push subscribe. That helps us to spread this light-driven content to the planet. Thank you, and God bless. Thanks for listening to Mornings with Matt. Please like, subscribe, and follow us at Deering Acting Studio to keep up with the latest content. For more information on classes, private lessons, or professional development coaching, visit www.deeringstudio.com. Have a Deering day, everyone.